Hey gun people! Making a couple of shelves here. Um, instead of having a bunch of shoes in my closet all over the place, I'm making this little shelf here. Just basically set in the back of my closet. And uh, then I can put some shoes on, on the bottom floor. And then I get basically a little second row. And Smokey's been helping me here. Smokey, what are you doing? Are you measuring? So uh, this is a pretty simple little shelf here. I'm going to come over and uh, show you kind of what I did here. So, oh, you know what? Let me get back here. <laughs> Smokey's like, what are you doing with that camera, Dad? <laughs> Hang on, Mokey Moke. We're going to make a little shelf here. So, all I did was buy... What are you doing? Give Dad his little stick. Because you're in big trouble. You're in... Back, kitty. Ah! <laughs> all right so this little stick uh been talking about like for a baton man this is a great little baton get some swings in here do your practicing on your strikes upward downward jabs power chop upward rollover so if you don't have a baton 95 cents at home depot so what I did is I bought three of these for 95 cents. I got an extra one just in case I wanted something. And then I cut them down to nine inches each. And it gave me more. So one of these makes nine inches. So each of these are nine inches each. And then I just took a drill because this screw is gonna go in here. And I took a drill, make a little X on your wood you find the center try to drill a hole right there in the center and this screw is going to go in that hole through this piece of wood and it's going to look like that so this piece of plywood I think cost me 15 bucks had Home Depot cut it in half exactly so I have the two same shelves I put two legs on it already and now I'm going to put two on it while you're watching so let me spin this around so, on the big piece of plywood, I set one of these things on here after I cut it. So I set one on here, put it right there, drew a little line around it, made an X on it, and drilled a hole in the X. So that's where my screw's gonna go. I didn't wanna split the wood or split these, so I did pilot holes on them. And, uh, once I did that, of course I already did that one on the floor. So uh, I took these screws that are going to come up about this long, so it'll go that long into the piece of wood there. And I got to screw this little sucker right up through here. So I get that about almost halfway in. And then uh, get a little wood glue. You don't have to do wood glue. I do the wood glue. It makes it stronger. Did me a Q-tip in there. Put some wood glue around the screw. Put some wood glue on the square here. Hopefully you can see me. Then what? With my stick, I'm just going to uh, put some wood glue on here. If you can see that. So I get a little bit of wood glue on here, a little bit of wood glue over here, and now I'm just going to screw this leg kind of on here like so. And because I drilled a pilot hole, it goes in pretty easy. And then once I get it down to where I want it, I'm watching to see which one is square, and this one right here is the squares. So I make it straight there and there. I take my Q-tip and I just kind of run a little wood around there, that wood glue. And then I'm gonna finish screwing this in, but I've gotta hold this, otherwise this will spin. So I'm gonna turn this, hold my piece of wood. Do that till it's flush. And then I'm gonna check this again to make sure this didn't spin a little bit. And if it does, you can kind of twist it 
and straighten it up. And then that little leg's on there. And this doesn't have to be that strong. And it's pretty strong now, but once that glue dries, it gets pretty damn strong. Then I have one more to do. Uh, again, pretty simple bit. Made the X's, drilled the holes, cut that little piece of 90, 95 cent piece of wood. That's the hardest part, getting this in a hole. A little hair around it, sir. Okay, came up. Give me some wood glue around my screw. On the wood. We're still on the camera there. Get my little pre drilled hole here. Get my wood girl on there. Very little, not a lot. Because I put some on the bottom and on this. So as they squeeze, you're going to get a little out. And that's why I run the Q tip backwards. So take my little leg. Find a hole, screw that down. As I get close, I'm looking to see where it's flush. Right here is probably where it's flush. Right there is pretty good too. I'm pretty good on all these. So I'm going to stop it right there. After I stop it, finish putting the screw in, hold this so it doesn't spin. Squeezed all that glue out. I'm going to check it, make sure it's straight. Make a little final adjustment. When you squeeze that down, you're going to see how it squeezes out that glue a little bit. So all this does is just kind of like puts a little, so when it dries you don't have that little bead there. And it'll dry pretty smooth and you won't even see it. And that is the bench. That's it, four legs, 95 cents. And the board, and you can put it in your closet, in the back of the closet, it doubles your shoe holding space, and it keeps all my damn shoes from being spread out all over the place. So, uh, I don't know if there's any questions. I don't know what else you could do. Like I said, it's not, I can't walk on it. It's not strong like my other shelves. It's just going to be holding shoes. I mean, if I wanted to hold books on there and make those longer and put a books or, or, or stack them on top of each other, I'm sure I could stack them on top of each other. Let me see. So if I want to set them on top of each other and have a double shelf, I guess I could do that too. And then put shoes, or if I wanted to lay sweaters on top of the top rack and just use the two bottom rows for shoes. Anyway, pretty simple wood, and I'm telling you, man, that baton is stinking bad. If you need to make you a baton, put my wood glue on here. Get one of these, man, and I'm telling you, it, it really, it's got good weight. It's a little bit heavier. It's not quite as round. If you wanted to smooth it off, you could. But it's really a good heavy weight to practice those strikes that I was showing you um, with this baton. So, 95 cents, Home Depot. And then I wanted to show a couple things that I'm going to be doing coming up. Um, if I can zoom in over there. That's a box of MREs. There's an A and a B box. I got one of each. I'm going to open them up and kind of show what the different mills are. I mean, I've been out of the military for a while. I don't know what's in there. But a friend of mine was buying a couple illegal on the black market because they're not for resale. I think it says on the box, not for resale, government property, committing a crime, whatever. So anyway, um, I got a couple boxes. I'm going to open them up and we'll go over what, what's in the new MREs, how to heat them up, etc. You notice some candles and stuff next to it. I'm going to do some prepper items that uh, does not expire things that you can keep for a while and then if you look right behind it you're gonna see two uh, siphons there's a siphon there's a siphon and there's another one in the back there and I've got one more on order and we're gonna go over how to siphon liquids either out of cars uh, tanks etc uh, I know most people out of siphon but there's a few different ones on the market so I'm gonna try 
all of them on camera do that. So those are the videos coming. There's my shelves. Hope that helps, and we'll end that there.